Did you shoot this in Spanish Harlem? Yeah. If you've never been to Spanish Harlem, watch this video. You've been to Spanish Harlem. You've been to Spanish Harlem. It's called I'm Gonna Be Alright, and Nas was on the track, and I just wanted to do something that took us straight back to Spanish Harlem. I had seen a layout in Sports Illustrated, and they had one girl sitting like in a beach chair in front of a gate out on the street just tanning, and she had the big boom box next to her and the Puerto Rican flag. I was like, that's the video. From there, we got all the other kind, you know, this was, I was like, I have to have rollers at the laundromat uh -huh. with the flag. You look real ghetto right yeah, there. Yeah, I, I love it, I yeah, love it. Yeah. It's fly, it's okay. fly ghetto style. And then the rest of it was all kind of inspired by Taxi Driver, the movie, okay. for like the performance part of the video where mm -hmm. me and Nas would perform together. And I did like the Jody Foster with the big hat and the shorts and the flower and mm -hmm. the big bag and everything and the platform shoes. And he did like the very militant with the green. He was like, didn't get it. He was like, I understand. You know, he just wanted to wear a jersey and everything. Uh -huh. And I showed him, I was like, this is Robert De Niro. When you, you said understand? Robert De Niro, he's like, yeah. oh, word. He got yeah, it. Yeah, he, he got, got that, it, right? <laughs> I was like, this movie, and he watched it or whatever, and he was like, okay, I get it, I get it. And he went with it, and it was it was really cool. What was it like working with him? I mean, was he just... was amazing. Well, first of all, he's always been one of my favorite. Okay. One of my favorites, if not my very favorite. And I've said that many times in many interviews to me. He's just the most intelligent, mm -hmm. uh, most insightful, knows so much about his own history, his background. He's very inspirational, I think. I love a smart guy. I love an intelligent person who can really bring something more to the music. And I love the way he sounds, his flow, his whole thing. He's just he's just a full package. I don't work with um, too many artists and um I don't you know usually I don't think I'm really good at remixes and stuff because not my thing, but you know what I'm saying? I'm, she called and I said, you know, I was real happy about that, you know what I mean? So it's like, I, that's love. I got big love for J-Lo. J-Lo is one of the artists that, you know, is driving the world crazy because she can do, she can deal with all different worlds and bring all different worlds together to, to deal with her and listen to her, you know what I'm saying? To get into her vibe. So she brought the street element, you know, put that on top of the track masses, brought me in. And that's, there you go. Is it important to you to like bring the world into your culture through your videos? Because you do that a lot. You know? It's just, again, it's just who you are. It's mm -hmm. what makes you happy. Like mm -hmm. you remember things and it just makes you feel good. And that's why I am. Like the guys playing dominoes on the street and all that. I, I remember that. And I remember the bodegas and going to the store and the guys hanging out in the street mm -hmm. and, and that life and that vitality again when you can capture that it has such a grittiness to it but such a realness to it people can connect to it because mm -hmm. they go that's that's where i live that's what i am that's what i do at the beginning of this video i had to have that horn uh -huh. if you've ever been in any spanish neighborhood in the ghetto, uh -huh. you'll hear in New York, you'll hear that da -da 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 -da, like cucaracha. I was like, that has to be at the top of the video before the song starts. And you hear it at all times of the day. You're like, what is that? When you're growing up, uh -huh. you're like, what is that? And you realize that it's a car horn that mm -hmm. some some fool has on their car. Well, you know, I was in the ad lib. Yes, I did. You know, uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> And I see what? No? What is Dave doing right now? <laughs> I was doing you. I was doing you. I will not be doing that. Well, you do a better version of that, you know. Yeah, back in the day, you know, I had my uh, softball moments. I never played stickball. That was for boys, you know, and they were really hard to get the bat. I mean, the only reason they gave me the bat is because it was my video. Let's be honest. But, <laughs> but um, I did play, you know, baseball and softball when I was younger, and I do enjoy it. So I, I, I had a little... You know, I think people were surprised that you can do anything when you're a girl, so yeah, I actually knew what I was doing. Puerto Rico! Yes, it's just like playing stickball in the street, going to the laundromat mm -hmm. for Saturday night, hanging out with your girls on the sidewalk. You don't want to drive, you don't want to take the train to Jones Beach or, or the Orchard, so you just uh -huh. sit out and get a tan with a soda, and that's, that's how life was.